All right, guys. So um, we were out fishing last night, and I wanted to share our experience with you. So, um, you know, you can go fishing at pretty much any of these ponds, and especially at night, um, there are a lot of fish to be caught, especially in the summertime. Um, we can catch hundreds of fish in a week uh, fishing at night. And this is just one example of a small pond that we went to that was down the street. Um, not really a pond that I've fished in quite a while, but you can see here uh, I'm using just a regular old Bass Pro Shops um, stick bait, Cinco bait. It's like a, I don't know, five and a half inch bait. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, I think it's California 420 color. Just Texas rigging it weedless and, um, and that's it. And so um, there was a lot of grass in the area and so I was just throwing around the grass um, and that's why I used a weightless bait um, is you see me set the hook here um, that weightless bait you know it's perfect when there's a lot of grass around the bank this particular pond um, there was grass I would say about 10 to 20 feet off the bank so there's a lot of grass so you don't want to use uh, a heavy weight when you're in that situation uh, or if you're using a weight you want to move to an area where there's not a lot of grass so um, the, unfortunately the first fish that I caught was about a three and a half pounder and I did not have my camera on I didn't realize that uh, I pu punched the button off so um, but here's a nice one couple pound fish um, uh, on the weightless Senko now one thing you'll notice here <clears throat> I'm catching these fish on my left and throwing them back on my right I don't want those fish to swim back I caught all these fish in the exact same area I caught them off of a little drainage pipe coming in the water and um, you don't want to throw those fish right back and have them swim right back to the school uh, around the other ones. I don't know what it is, but over the past, you know, 20 years of fishing, I've realized that those fish somehow, they either have a scent or something about them that they, they can show distress and it kind of gets all the other fish nervous. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know if nervous is the right word, but it, it definitely will turn the bite off. So, I'm kind of trying to throw them, you know catching them probably 20 feet to my left, throwing them back 10 feet off to my right. So hopefully it'll take them a while to get back. So here's another one. Um, you can see here cars going by. I mean, I'm in a public area. Um, nice fish here. Uh, fishing the inside of the grass line on this pipe and uh, where this pipe basically dumps into the, the pipe wasn't really in the water. It just, it, it uh, puts current flow there and there's a little ditch right there in front of it. And so um, once again, you know, another nice, nice fish. Um, and once again, guys, you, you, you don't need expensive equipment. That's probably a three pounder. Um, you don't need any expensive equipment. You don't need, um, you know, any special gear. I um, mean, you can buy this, all this stuff at Walmart. I mean, that, that bag of uh, Bass Pro Shop stick baits there probably costs a couple dollars. Uh, just using a straight shank hook. I'm using, I happen to be using 15 pound test fluorocarbon line, but you can use 10 pound or eight pound or whatever you got. Um, and, uh, and, and here's another big tip. When you're out here doing this, okay, I walked up to this thing extremely slow, almost like I was stalking an animal. Probably looked kind of weird, probably looked like an absolute creep in the middle of the night walking, <laughs> creeping here. But I, I, uh, when I, it took me a while to walk into this spot. Um, you don't want to just walk right up to it, make a bunch of noise, drag your feet. That's why most people will walk up to the spot, get one bite, maybe, maybe catch one fish, and I'll sit here and absolutely yoke them. You know, I'll yank on 10, 15 of them because those fish don't realize that there's somebody on the bank 20 feet away from them. So, uh, I mean, I'm right on the shoreline, but I'm not up on it. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, tw it's tw I'm 20 feet away. And basically, as soon as I start catching them, I am not moving. My feet never move. I think my my feet stayed in like a two or three foot radius the entire time. I try not to pick my feet up off the ground, even when I set the hook. Um, and I try to just move at the waist. Uh, here's another one. Um, and that right there, you know, allows me to just catch fish after fish after fish after fish in an area where most people are not gonna be able to catch as many fish off of a spot. This is just an average night, guys. Um, this was nothing special. This wasn't even a big fish spot. It wasn't a pond that we go to all the time. It's not a hot pond. It's, um, you know, and, uh, okay, now here I actually had the hook through the gill plate. So you can see here, I, I kinda, you know, pull the hook out the other way. Look at that. That fish isn't damaged. He'll, he'll live and, and grow up big. So 
Um, another thing here, now I'm starting to realize that my line is getting frayed because some of these fish are grabbing it and running it into the into the pipe. And I'm setting the hook across the pipe. So I'm throwing 15 pound line, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm not catching any big fish. But my line's getting frayed up on every hook set. <clears throat> and once again, just keep catching them and catching them and catching them. Um, but once again, I'm not even moving, okay? Now if I didn't catch any fish here, I would take, you know, four or five fish feet go four or five feet closer make a few casts four or five feet closer make a few casts if you can see there um i think that's ryan if you saw the light on the bank over there that was ryan now um here's here's another thing okay so after i caught so many fish my line was all frayed up so i went ahead and i'm, I'm basically um re-cutting um I'm, I'm basically going to tie on a fresh knot and fresh new line so this is really important. This is another thing. This is the difference between catching 10 and catching 15 is, you know, um, making sure your line and your gear is ready in fresh knots and things like that. After you caught that many fish, they're scraping you up against the bank and through the grass. You feel some frays on your line. You want to make sure you retie. So, um, so I just went ahead and retied right, right there real quick. Um, and now I've got, I carry one, one pair of pliers. That's all I ever carry. Everything I do on the pond is super simple. That one pair of pliers can unhook fish, cut line, uh, split ring, whatever I need. Um, I also use it as a file. If I need to sharpen a hook, I can use it as a file as well. It's not a great file, but it works better than nothing. Uh, that's about it. So it was an awesome night. We probably caught, I probably caught 15 fish standing in one area. This is just um, kind of the ones we got on camera there for the for about you know 30 minute period or so. Once I got them going, I just turned the camera on and we we started catching them, but. It was super fun, probably had best five, went about 12, 13 pounds. Um, nice little summer summer bag, super fun. And um, once again, all fish were released and healthy. And this is something you can do with your kids or anything. These fish are ready to go all summer long. Thanks guys, if you have any questions, drop them in and I'd love to answer them, thanks.